Hello everybody, my name is Luigi Carlo and I am an artist. Shortly we will be talking about art, specifically about two-dimensional and three-dimensional objects. What is the difference between an object two-dimensional and another three-dimensional? What are the characteristics? To understand this, it is important to understand the color value. Essentially, the color value refers to how light or dark is a specific color. As we'll see, this change in value is a very important factor that distinguish two-dimensional and three-dimensional objects. In a two-dimensional object, such as a board or a wall, the angle that the light hits the object is the same throughout the surface of the object itself. And provided the light is of sufficient intensity, the color value is uniform across the entire surface of the object. As a result, the object appears two-dimensional, in other words, flat. In a three-dimensional object, like a cube, because of the orientation of each side, the light hits each side at a different angle. The side that is facing closer to the right angle with respect to the light source appears in lighter value, while the other sides, as they move away from the right angle with respect to the light source, appear darker. In this type of object, the transition from light to dark is not gradual but sharp. While in a three-dimensional object like a cylinder, because of the curvature of its shape, the light hits a different angle, and as the angle between the light source and the portion of the object change progressively, create a more gradual change in value on the surface of the object. However, to fully understand three-dimensional objects, all the factors need to be considered. The whole range of elements that determine how a three-dimensional object appears include highlight, which is the point in which most of the light is reflected by the object, light value, which is the area of the object facing toward the light source, while the part of the surface progressively facing away from the light source appear in middle value and then darker in the shadow area. Furthermore, three-dimensional object cast a shadow also Another object may reflect light that in turn affect how the specific object appears. All these elements determine the sense of three-dimensionality also in the human body. Let's analyze them one by one. This is a portrait I have painted oil on canvas. Let's see in a rather complex shape such as the human face, how all these elements actually contribute to determine the sense of three-dimensionality. Light is coming from the top left corner. Highlights are often seen in the eyes and lips. Light values are produced in the areas facing the light source. Areas progressing facing away from the light source produce middle value and then dark values. Also, the nose casts a shadow 
and the reflected light by surrounding object is visible on the face of the Sita. In conclusion, in a two-dimensional object, the uniform color value makes the object appear flat, while in a three-dimensional object, highlight, value changes, cast shadow and reflected light are an element that contribute to determine the object to appear three-dimensional. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. My name is Luigi Carlo and I am a painter and illustrator. You can email me to let me know about your views. My email address is art.luigicarlo at yahoo.co.uk Also, you can visit my website where you can view more of my paintings including portraits, landscape, drawings and more. The address is luigicarlo.mosaicglobe.com In my YouTube account, Art Luigi Carlo, I posted all interesting videos about art, both in Italian and English, so you can have a look there too. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.